In this video, I am going to show you how to configure a Windows Server 2016 to act as an iSCSI target server. I have already prepared a Windows Server 2016 virtual machine in my lab. Ensure that you have enough disk space on your virtual machine. So in my case, I have got another drive just for my iSCSI. Now to begin, we first need to open Server Manager. On the Server Manager console, let's click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. Click on Next. Select Role Base or Feature Base installation and then click on Next. Just ensure that you have got this right server listed there and then click on Next. Expand File and Storage Services. Then uh, expand File and iSCSI Services. Just scroll a little bit and here we have options for iSCSI Target Server. Let's select iSCSI Target Server and then click on Next. No feature to install here, so just click on Next button. Check the restart the destination server automatically if required. And then click on Yes and let's click on Install to start the installation. Ok, so iSCSI Target Server role has been successfully installed on our server. Let's click on Close. Now let's move on to configure the iSCSI target. On uh, Server Manager windows, select File and Storage Services. Now uh, here, let's click on iSCSI. Let's click on to create an iSCSI virtual disk. Start a new iSCSI virtual disk wizard. Let's click on it. Let's uh, choose the location of your virtual disk. The wizard will create a VHDX file in this location. So let's select the E drive and click on next. Now on the specify iSCSI virtual disk name, you have to type the name of your virtual disk. Let's specify the name with disk1 for this demonstration. Now as you can see the path is E colon slash iSCSI virtual disk slash the name of our virtual disk. And as you can see the format of this virtual disk is dot vhdx. Let's click on next. Uh, here I'm going to specify the size 100 GB and for this demonstration I'm going to use dynamically expanding. Let's click on next. In the assign iSCSI target page choose new iSCSI target options and then click on next. Now here you have to specify the target name Specify the name iSCSI target 1 and then let's click on next. Now uh, let's click on add to specify the iSCSI initiator that will be access this uh, iSCSI virtual disk. Let's click on add. Now we can see here we have uh, three methods to identify the initiator. Either way we can query initiator computers for ID but it is not supported for Windows Server 2008, Windows 7 or earlier operating system. We have another option, select from the initiator cache in the target computer and right now that is created. We have a third option, enter the value for the selected type. We can define IQN, DNS name, IP address or the MAC address. But in this practical, we will define the IP address of the initiator server. Let's select, enter the value for the selected type and from the type, let's select the IP address. Let's specify the IP address 192.168.1.205. That's the IP address of our another server. Let's click on OK. You can add list of all the initiator server that would access the iSCSI disk and then click on next. In the enable authentication page, you have options to use JAP or uh, reverse JAP for authenticating iSCSI initiator and iSCSI target. Here, I will leave it empty and then click on next. On the confirm selection page, just click on create to create a new virtual disk. When the creating process has finished, let's uh, click on close to close this console. Ok, so here we have uh, one virtual disk and that is stored on this location. The target name is iSCSI target1 and the initiator ID which are going to connect to this virtual disk is 
So now we are going to configure the iSCSI initiator on the initiate server. This is the our uh, member server and on this member server we want to connect to our iSCSI storage server. Let's open the server manager. Let's click on tools and select iSCSI initiator. Let's click on yes to start Microsoft iSCSI service. Here let's uh, specify the IP address of our iSCSI storage server. In my case that is 182.168.1.201. Let's click on quick connect. This is the IQN which we created on our iSCSI target. Name iSCSI hyphen target1. Let's click on done. Let's click on OK. Let's open the disk management console. Here, as you can see, you have a one uh, another disk with the size of 100 GB. It is indicating you that uh, you are connected with uh, iSCSI's target server. Let's right click on this disk and select online. Let's again right click on it and select. Let's initialize this disk with MBA partition table and let's click on OK. Let's create a new simple volume. After creating a new simple volume, you can see the partition has created on the disk management console. To make sure that the partition working, go to this PC and here click on this PC and here you can see a one partition of 99.9 .9 GB. That's all about install and configure iSCSI Windows Server 2016. We had install and configure iSCSI target. Then we configure iSCSI initiator on the next server. That works very well. That's it for this video demonstration.